Well guys, I think I bought my Toyota Tundra Platinum a year too early because there's some awesome things coming for the 2024 model year for the Toyota Tundra. So heading over to the 2024 Toyota Tundra on Toyota's page. Now we don't have the configurator live yet. However, we do have the color options for 2024, some new packages on vehicles along with the pricing. And we'll start with some colors first. You'll notice that one is missing. We are missing Army Green. So Army Green does not continue for the 2024 model year, but you will see here that Solar Octane is available again. And we have Lunar Rock still there and the new one, Terra, for the 2024 TRD Pro. But all the other ones are staying, but we did lose Army Green for the 2024 model year. All the specs and everything is literally the same with the truck, guys. I went through everything to see if anything changed to justify this bump in MSRP and I did not see anything yet. So we will wait for the configurator for that. But as of now, I did not see anything major that warrants these price changes and they're kind of big. So starting off with the SR, guys, the base Tundra went up about $1,000 in MSRP. But that's really not that big compared to the SR5 and the Limited. So these are like their bulk trucks, right? The entry kind of level aside from the SR, but the SR5, and the Limited, I feel like are the common man trucks, right? And this bump in MSRP is actually pretty big. So the SR5 goes up $3,100 in MSRP, but that's not even the biggest one because the Limited has bumped up by $3,400. So the base MSRP of the Limited bumped up by $3,400, making this truck start at almost mid $50,000 range. And the SR5 is starting at $47,000. So, and that is just guys, a double cab six foot bed because of the configurations of this truck. So that's not even for the crew max. Going over to the platinum and the 1794. So both of those went up about a thousand dollars from the 2023 model year. The Tierty Pro and the Capstone, the big, very expensive Tundras, those went up by $1,200. So rounding it out, about $1,000 to $1,200 was most of the MSRPs that bumped up. That is still a bit, not a whole lot, but the SR5 and the Limiteds with those big MSRP jumps. So I already mentioned that Army Green is gone for the 2024 model year, but if we go into SR5, we can see that Solar Octane is here. It will be only available on the TRD model. So not sure if it'll be on the TRD Sport and the TRD Off-Road because they only show it on the TRD Off-Road for the SR5, but we will see Solar Octane there. And on the Limited, we also have it here. Now check this out for the Limited, okay? You notice that we went away from a brushed aluminum grill, all this aluminum on the door handles and on the, like around the mirrors. And if you check out the Solar Octane here, I got confirmation from a contact with Toyota that if you get the TRD off-road on the Limited, we are losing the chrome for the 2024 model year. So no brushed chrome in the front or brushed aluminum chrome, no chrome around the uh, windows. Very, like This literally looks like a TRD Pro and whatever color you get a TRD off-road limited in for 2024 model year, it'll look like this. So a color matched uh, Hulk Hogan mustache, right? Blacked out right here under the grill. We have the TRD grill, blacked out Toyota logo. It looks like there we get the 20 inch TRD wheels blacked out as well. And just nice color match door handles, gloss black around the mirror caps and we'll also have gloss black, and we'll also have a matte black on the rear bumper, which we can see up here if we go to the top. This video that is playing, this is a TRD off-road. So if we pause it at certain spots, you can see color matched, black around the windows, black around the, uh, black around the wheel wells, 20 inch wheels, nice and black, we'll hit play, see that bumper, blacked out there, color match at the top, a blacked out uh, tailgate handle. And then also once it comes to the front, this is supersonic red. So you could see that around the grill surround too is nice and color matched. So the TRD off-road, if you're jumping up from the SR5 to the Limited is gonna be really nice and color matched. I bought a Platinum a freaking year too early because if we go into the Platinum, a couple things have changed first. 
Lunar Rock, you're able to get on the Platinum, which is pretty cool. So that's nice. That's really the only color thing that you get with the Platinum is Lunar Rock uh, adds to the Platinum portfolio. Same with Lunar Rock on the 1794. Not only do we get the Mesquite Brown, but we also get Lunar Rock on the 1794. But if we go into our kind of like pseudo configurator until it is live right here, I changed it to have limited 1794 and Platinum. Now the cool thing is guys, when we go down to the packages, like I said, I got a Platinum a little too early. I wanted it to be a Platinum for a while, but, but you'll see here first, Nightshade Edition is part of the limited now. So a limited nightshade is coming. The nightshade package, we're gonna get 20 inch black wheels, a bunch of blacked out accents. So it's it's almost gonna look like a mini platinum in my opinion of how this is gonna look with the gloss black, the semi black, all that stuff. So it may look like a platinum on a limited. If you guys have seen any of the nightshade stuff in the past, it looks really good with like the black chrome, but that is not the package that I am most excited about, even though I won't be getting this truck. Okay. If we go all the way down to the bottom, we will see a TRD off-road package and look at this little circle. It is available now for the platinum tundra. So the limited, we already know that we're going to have a brand new style of TRD off-road for that. Very color matched, very nice. The 1794 was the main luxury truck for the Toyota Tundra that you could get the leather AC seats, just a premium interior that you could get a TRD off-road package on. But now for the 2024 model year over here, the Platinum will officially be getting the TRD off-road package. Rear locker, multi-terrain select, crawl control, the multi-terrain monitor view and everything. So it's going to be very, very awesome to have those features on a Platinum because there are a lot of people that start to build up those Platinums into Overland rigs. And the one thing that they were missing was the locker and the crawl control and all those other specs that a TRD off-road would get. So guys, what do you think about those changes? When the configurator goes live, I was told that there's more information coming with that. So I will make a dedicated video for you all when the configurator goes live on Toyota's website. But is 2024 your year to finally pick up a Tundra or are you gonna wait for a refresh? Because as I said, there are some jumps in the MSRP with really nothing that we can see at least right now on this kind of brief thing that Toyota has put on their website for the 2024 model year. So let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about these changes and if you're picking up a Tundra for the 2024 model year and I will catch you all in the next one. All right, see you later. Thank you.